Welcome back to my series on how to invest in gold. In the previous part two, I shared a detailed walkthrough on how to invest for the long run using ETFs or for the short run trading using contracts for difference. And now in the final part three, I'm going to share how we can do this using crypto instead and more specifically using the Paxos gold token, which I think is the best way of all to trade and invest in gold. If that sounds interesting to you, then let's dig in. Now, that leaves crypto tokens as the winner in terms of how I rank these different products to gain exposure to the gold price. So before I show you how to buy the Paxos crypto token, I just want to share with you a quick one minute clip from the Paxos website, which outlines the basic tokenomics and gives a really good summary of how this product works. So we at Paxos Trust Company created Pax Gold. Pax G is a digital asset. One Pax G equals one fine troy ounce of the highest quality gold in professional gold vaults in London. When you own Pax G, you own physical LBMA accredited gold that comes with its own secure vaults, but no storage fees. Paxos Trust Company is regulated by the New York State Department of Financial Services. All Pax G is fully backed by allocated gold in the most secure vaults. A top outside auditing firm ensures the reserve of physical Audited. gold matches the outstanding supply Regulated. of Pax G tokens. Pax G is the only digital token you can redeem for LBMA accredited gold bullion bars. And you can also get smaller amounts through physical Invisible. gold retailers around the world. Just set up an account on Paxos.com. You can purchase at current gold market prices and receive your Pax Gold tokens within minutes. When you own Pax Gold, you own the finest gold Low available fees. at the lowest fees. Check out Paxos.com to learn more today. Yes, so it looks pretty good. If we jump onto the Paxos website, you can see here, like the video showed, Pax is a digital token backed by physical gold. If we scroll down here, you can download the white paper. So I strongly recommend to look at this. And I just wanted to highlight a few key points. It says Pax Gold is a tokenized version of gold that represents real physical gold. And it gives you actual ownership of gold in a vault along with the benefits of a digital wallet. Yes, it says if you own a token, that represents one fine troy ounce of physical gold. And that's from a specific gold bar with a serial number. Um, the PAX token itself is based on the Ethereum blockchain. So these are ERC-20 tokens. And the Paxos company itself is actually a trust company, which is a regulated financial institution, uh, regulated by the New York State, which is one of the strictest uh, regulators in the US. Paxos has re relationships with miners and vaults and other institutional players. They also have a track record in operating tokens since they also do stable coins. And then here it talks about the minimum quality of the gold that they use. Minimum fineness of 99.5% gold has to meet the LBMA standards. Uh, another key point, the tokens are actually allocated to individual gold bars. And if you put the Ethereum address of your token into the Paxos website, you can actually look at which gold bar your token corresponds to. A few other benefits. The Pax tokens are fully redeemable. So if you have enough of them, you can actually redeem an entire solid gold bullion bar and have it sent to you if you want to do that. Um, but on the other hand, the tokens are highly divisible. So you could invest as minimum as little as the minimum 0.01 packs or $15. There are also low fees. I'll come back to that. Um, and Paxos itself is also bankruptcy remote because they keep customer assets separate to company assets. So even if Paxos goes bankrupt, 
you can still have a claim on the gold through your tokens. It's decentralized and easy to trade. So, and then coming back to their website, here they have a nice little comparison of the crypto tokens to ETFs, futures, and so on, similar to the table I did in part one, actually. And you can see on almost every metric, they have far lower fees to trade. Now, in terms of where to buy the Paxos tokens, if we look at coin market cap and click on the market section on the Paxos, it shows all the different exchanges where we can purchase these, such as Binance, Kraken, and so on. Although an exchange I like using at the moment is Bybit. And you can see here, they're ranked pretty high on the list. So if we head over to the Bybit PAX page, gives you a quick summary of the token here. And you can see in the top right, it says you can either trade spot or perpetual futures. Now, before I go to show a trade example, I just want to share this explanation of how this works and the difference between spot and perpetual for packs. So in this example, let's imagine we've got a $10,000 account size and we're going to buy $1,780 worth of PAX tokens. Well, if the current gold price or PAX token price is 1,780, if we had a position size equal to that amount, we'd end up with one PAX gold token. So let's say then the price then went up, let's say 1,810. So just like before, that's an increase of just under 2%. And based on a position size of that amount, our profit would be $30. Now, if instead we did this through perpetual futures on the crypto exchange, we could use leverage. So exactly the same example here, same position size, but if we use, let's say, leverage of 10 times, that would increase our position to $17,800. So if we had the same price change there, just under 2%, that would 10x our profit from $30 to $300. Pretty straightforward to understand. So now let's actually do a live spot trade on Bybit and buy some PAX tokens. So here is the Bybit PAX spot trading execution screen. You can see on the right here, this is the deal entry uh, section. So I'm gonna do a market order and let's just do a small size, so $20. The current price is um, $1,777 for one token on the offer side. So let's hit buy for $20. Order price, there you are, uh, max quantity, $20, buy packs. There you go, order filled. And now if I go to my assets screen in Bybit, just gonna refresh this. You can see that now my packs tokens have arrived, 0 0.011 of packs. And that's it, I've bought some packs tokens. So that is how to buy spot PAX tokens. But if you would like to trade on leverage similar to the contracts for difference, let's go back into Bybit and I'll show you the PAX futures screen. So here you can see this is the PAX USDT perpetual token. And everything looks quite similar. Here's the price, which is the same, $1,778. And on the right hand side here, this is the execution screen. So first of all, let's choose how much leverage we want. Currently on one times, like the spot. So let's increase this, let's say up to 10 times leverage, okay? Next, in terms of order value, well, if I want to only put down $20 on 10 times leverage, so that's $200, but you'll notice here it says the cost that will only cost me $20 in terms of how much I'm putting at risk for that levered up trade. Next, you obviously want to set your stop loss and take profits. 
So let's set this, I don't know, just below for a long position, say 1760 and take profit. I don't know. Let's say it goes up to 1820. So there you go. Everything's ready. And if I wanted to take on this trade, I just click buy, go long. And then I'd also have a long position in the futures alongside that spot trade from earlier. And that's, you know, pretty much it. It's, it's fairly simple. Um, you know, I really like this platform. And actually, if you're interested in uh, trading on Bybit, check down my uh, links down below. They're currently running some fantastic promotions. Actually, I'll just show you that quickly. See here, it has a series of announcements of the uh, Christmas period promotions, like this uh, bonus pool tournament. Over here, you can win up to a million dollars in prizes. They've also got this uh, trading competition with a half a million dollar prize pool. And they're also doing uh, zero fees on any spot trades, which would include the PAX tokens. So yeah, definitely check out Bybit if you want to have a go at that. And make sure you use my link below so you get all those bonuses. So PAX gold tokens are pretty good. Although, like anything in life, they're not perfect, and there are some things we need to consider. If we go back onto the PAX homepage, down here under the FAQs, they talk about the transaction fees in more detail. So it says here, sending a PAX token from one ERC20 address to another, such as when moving funds from a wallet to an exchange, is an on-chain transaction and possession of the token is transferred and recorded on the Ethereum blockchain, and two kinds of fees occur when you therefore send PAXG on the chain. And then it talks about the PAX on-chain fees we saw before, which are quite low, but you also do have the standard gas fee for sending PAX or any token you would send on the Ethereum blockchain. And to put this into perspective, if we go on to Etherscan, it shows average fees for Ethereum here for different types of transaction. So anywhere between two to six dollars. But if we look at Paxos more specifically, so search for Paxos. This shows you uh, lots of recent transactions of Paxos on Ethereum. So let's look at an example. Take the first one. So this transaction, someone has sent $631 worth of Paxos from one Ethereum address to another. And they incurred fees of $2.7. Now, I've looked through several other transactions, and I'd say on average, fees seem to range anywhere between about one and a half to around three, three and a half dollars. So it doesn't sound much, but if you're investing much smaller amounts, say only $100 of PAX tokens, and then moving them onto a wallet, that is going to eat into your returns. So you have to think about that. Now, the next issue, I want to show another section at the bottom of the white paper in the small print. So if you look here on page 10, it talks about this asset protection role. I'll read this out because it's important. It says, as required by our regulators, we have included a role for regulatory compliance to freeze or seize the assets of a criminal party. This role means they can freeze or unfreeze the PAX gold balance of any address on the Ethereum blockchain. They can also wipe the balance of that address after it is frozen to allow the appropriate authorities to seize the backing assets, i.e. the gold assets. So basically, if you commit some sort of crime, the authorities get in touch with the Paxos company, tell them to freeze your assets of your tokens. And it doesn't matter if you had your tokens on an exchange or on a cold storage wallet, they can still freeze it and then they can delete the balance down to zero and they can go in and basically take away all your gold. So if you're looking for, you know, 
some sort of doomsday protection and hoarding gold if you know the the economy falls apart and all assets melt down to zero then maybe pax tokens may not be suitable for you although if you just want you know very quick and easy uh, exposure to that gold price to invest and trade in the short to medium term in the markets, then it could be a fantastic product. So that's why I like to show both the positives and the negatives, because obviously this is not financial advice. You have to do your own research and you need to decide for yourself whether any of these products are going to be suitable for you. So I hope that's helpful and gives you a very balanced view. So that's it for the final part three. I hope you've enjoyed my guide to investing in gold and this helps you during the upcoming recession to protect your assets from inflation and hopefully even grow your overall stack ready for the next bull run. In the meantime, I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like and uh, any comments below to help trigger the algorithm and support the channel and maybe consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps motivate me to make more of these videos. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching and have a great day. Cheers. Found some relief, I finally got some peace